Yeah. Who sang the background lyrics for the plagues? Uh, that was a group of um, of singers put together by uh, probably Hans Zimmer and, and Stephen Schwartz. That was uh, great. Yeah, my first memory of the plagues when I first saw Prince of Egypt as a toddler, I actually saw it in theaters with my mom but I was a baby at the time, and so I didn't remember it. But the minute that I first processed the the plagues, like, it scared the crap out of me because of what was going on, you know? It was so epic, and I was sort of like, you know, I'm glad I'm not in Egypt at that time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and I'm Egyptian at that time. Yeah, and you Egyptian, to, yeah. <laughs> you ought to be on the other side of that one. Yeah, and I definitely picked the Hebrew side for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But yeah, I, I watched it and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm sure that was a rough time for Egypt. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> like, like raining fire and frogs and all that stuff. It's like, man. And I later read the Bible and I realized that part of the reason, from what I've studied, part of the reason that God hardened Ramesses' heart, it wasn't just to get him to eventually free the Hebrews, it was to punish the Egyptians for what they were doing to the Hebrews with slavery. That's right, that's right. So that was part of it. Yeah, that's, so God was looking out for the people even when they're tough times, like in the Deliver Us scene. Yes, because he could have just said, uh, uh, after one plague, okay, go ahead, get out of here. But he didn't. Nope, he was punishing them ten times over. 